hello guys welcome back to my channel today's video is from alpha central it's titled female nurses doesn't know why she's single this seemed very interesting and i'm really excited and interested in this video okay before we go any further my name is ogechi and this is ogechi reaction welcome to my channel if you're new subscriber potential subscriber okay <laughs> we're a new viewer i see my beautiful face for the first time hello thank you for stopping by my name is ogechi do what's click on the red subscribe button like this video drop a comment that's our routine here okay <laughs> drop a comment what you think about this video i will drop my thought during the course of this video and after this video and to all my returning subscribers and viewers, thank you for always stopping by. Do not forget to turn on the post notification bell, okay? So you get notified anytime I drop a new video. Today's video seemed quite interesting, okay? Female nurses doesn't know why she's single. Do you know why you're single? Actually, from a female nurse, what do they actually say about nurses? Yeah, but a lot of them get married. They get married to good people, right? But there's this saying about nurses. I won't say it here, okay? <laughs> if you know it, say it. Let's know in the comment section. But this looks quite interesting. I just hope it's something different from what the thoughts going on in my mind, okay? And let's just get straight into the video. The title is Female Nurses Doesn't Know Why She's Single. It's from Afa Central. Let's get into it. Yo, what's up? Welcome back to Alpha Central. I'm your host, Jack, and today we found the best moments when women get rejected. Now, let's jump right in, right after you subscribe, of course. Disclaimer, this video was made for strictly comedic slash artistic purposes. No offense is intended towards any individual featured in this video. Personality or looks? So there is a disclaimer, okay? Just for entertainment purposes. So disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. No one should take it personal, okay? <laughs> or looks? Both. No, you don't want to choose one. And all the kings out there, when people ask you personally or looks, you can always say both. No, no, no. You don't settle one. for one or the no, other. No, what, what do you mean? Have yeah. both. Yes, he is right. Don't settle. Why are you staring at your tie like that? Because I have a question. What's up? I feel like you might be him. Yeah, why do you say that? Are you the daddy of this baby? Oh, hell. Yeah. No? We might need to do a paternity test. Okay. Well, if you want my number, just ask. Pregnant. Yeah, and you don't like milfs. Are you scared of me? Scared, right? Are you scared? Are you trying to assert your dominance by getting up higher than me? Now I'm about to work out. Shall I work out? Sure. Let's lift some weights. I'm already lifting a 10 pounder right here. <laughs> Bro was so freaked out, and I would be too. He was trying to get away from her. They want to. They wanted to. Okay, she was trying to woo him. I think maybe if you just like maybe a joke or something. Of course, she was trying to woo him and it wasn't really looking. How will a woman with such a big tummy be wooing me? Like who wouldn't be freaked out? Okay, it's not the guy was actually freaked out. So he was running away from her. Wanted to. Okay. There's not a lot of women that want to get off your phone. Hello. Are we really so addicted that we can't stay off our phones for even a second during a recorded interview? What's the worst day you've ever been on? A guy said that he would pick me up at 7, so I came outside and he was on a bicycle. What? And he had me sit on the front handlebars and I was in like a dress and I was in like heels and stuff because we're going to like a nice place. Oh so I had to like run alongside him to the restaurant. She's a runner, she's a track star. Now that must have been the weirdest day ever. So what's the red flag for you and the girl? What's red? Like it's done. A boy best friend. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, no, done. That's mad. I've been it? a boy best friend. Yeah. She calls me boy. I know. I know what boy best friend means. What does that mean? It means bedtime, buddy. I hear you. Like that's that is also a red flag for ladies too. Like no woman wants to have a man who has a female bestie. Like, duh, I'm supposed to be your bestie. Why are you having another bestie? Yeah. It's nuts. And certain guys are looking at us like we're crazy. It's not you and that. <laughs> If a guy's only friends is just girls, then man them don't rate you. Because yeah. man them are friends all their lives, more or less. Yeah. Girls have new friendship groups by yearly, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So for guys to not rate you, you've got to chill with a girl. A girl will chill with any guy that will beat up her. But certain men play the long game. Certain yeah. men do the, 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 the best friend thing, like the girl's best friend, just to get in the bedroom. So, I can't do that, bro. That's lame. For me, lame. That sort of behavior, it's inherited through the neek gene. 
Yup, the boy best friend is a huge red flag, especially if he has a history. Listen up because I'm about to give you your most powerful tool in a relationship. As men, it's the ability to walk away. Whether you're in the initial flirting stages or a year into a relationship, okay. that girl will always be on her A-game if she knows that you have a solid set of boundaries that you aren't willing to stray from. If a girl knows that your desperation will leave you settling for subpar behavior, she'll continue to test the limits. She'll maintain contact with exes, she'll continue to normalize her nightlife antics, and she'll do the bare minimum when it comes to being a supportive partner. So make it clear that a breach in your boundaries will have you walking out the door and thank me later when the power dynamic shifts in your favor and you experience respect for the first time in your life. Yep, don't be afraid to walk away. If the relationship isn't working out, just leave. Are you single? I agree. No, I've got a boyfriend. But it's long distance, you know? Oh no, I said this is a bingo. Oh. Oof, that must have been embarrassing. It's the worst day you've ever been on. So we went to the Pistons game and then took me to a club and then pushed me to the side and was like talking to the the whole time. All the I knew them by name and everything. <laughs> yeah, boy. Well, now she knows he's not the one. Better luck next time. You're looking at that. You're waiting for that red not light. Nice. That's correct. Not yeah. nice. Carly has never had a boyfriend. Really? Never. So what shies you away from not having a boyfriend? Is it yourself or you? nobody has pursued you? It's kind of like it's never lined up with the right person. Ow. Oh, dang! You did not careful, to careful. Don't touch me. <laughs> Now that, my friends, was a very brutal rejection. Must have stung a lot. Pull up, d -fly. Pass, because the upside down cross. I rock with it's king. when the smoke clears. I, I love rock God, rock too. What are you talking about? Based on how she was dressed, I don't think she's one for God. Huh? If you had different friends. Oh, now you want to talk to me. Hold on, y'all. Now she's trying to talk to me. Now she got something to say. What you saying? Oh, I said if you had different friends. Pass on. What's oh! about? By that. Man, it don't matter what she mean by that, I pass. She tried rejecting him before he could reject her himself. You right here with it? Yeah, what you doing with that? Let me see a little 360. Okay. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. No disrespect, but I'm a pass. Geek. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> no wait, 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 wait. My two girls walking up the lot. What's going on? Your ladies, ladies. Yo, all they gotta do is stay on the lot and look pretty. They're not, they're not, yeah, they good, they good. Nah, I ain't gonna be on the disrespect, <laughs> Alright y'all, we back. Two girls just ran, cause I don't know. They running, they think I'm gonna be disrespectful. I ain't disrespecting nobody, I'm wild nice. They were scared of rejection, so they just dipped. So people could be like, wow, she has a $25,000 bag, but she has no house, doesn't own her car, is living paycheck to paycheck, but she has a $25,000 bag. Never, I've, I've never understood that. It was like, as a woman, like, do you need the bag to get laid? No. no. Do you need the bag to get a job? No. Do men need... aren't impressed by it. You're yeah, trying to impress girls not... who you don't like. Like, grow the no. up, yeah. sell the bag, put that down payment on a car or house. Like, do something for yourself. Like, you do not need this bag. Sell the bag. Dang, she is spitting fact after fact. Men really don't care about the price of the bag. Go get out of debt first. What's the biggest ick a girl can give you? Not being stable, not having her mind made up on what she wants. Like if she for the streets. For the streets. What do you mean? What classifies the fourth streets? Just a. Just a. Right here, her first. Thank you. <laughs> wow, he was straight up with it. No hesitation at all. No such thing as toxic masculinity. No such thing. Oh. There are toxic people, and those toxic people can be masculine or feminine. But when the man pulls you out of your burning building, you don't give a. F how masculine he is. He, there's no two masculine men. Masculinity is masculinity. Femininity is feminine. Toxic mas masculinity was a term created in the night with each other. I can show you tons of people who are extremely toxic online, and some of them are masculine and some of them are feminine, but the two are mutually exclusive. The, the idea of toxic masculinity is to shame men for doing things that other people don't agree with. There is no such thing as toxic masculinity. Wow, this is actually pretty neat to know. The origin of toxic masculinity is pretty shocking. Hi again. Uh, I delivered food here yesterday from Chipotle. Actually, I, I I'm all, I'm also someone who has always heard about toxic mas masculinity and all those stuff, but this is quite new and really reasonable and actually true because both men and women can be 
um, toxic women can be very toxic as well as the men so i think that word was coined out because they just want to shame men right all these twitter feminists just trying to shame men so there's something called toxic max masculinity women can equally be toxic so i think we should do away with that word when a woman is being toxic let's call her toxic woman when a man is being toxic we'll call him a, a, a toxic man right yeah again uh i delivered food here yesterday from chipotle mm -hmm. and you put down that i didn't deliver it to you because i just got fired from my job yeah it was you this is my only source of income i do this all day now i'm fired from my job because you want your ten dollar burrito no. are you out of your mind who does this who does that you got me fired like i need the corporate number or something because I, I need to get your fired does anyone have a corporate number you have one Yeah, yeah. All right, you want to say that you got your food? I'll contact them, but... But what? Did you... Like, did you get your food or what? How are you? Hi. I even called my lawyer. He told me I can call the cops because it's theft. <laughs> it's theft. Are you going to say you got your food or not? Or should I call the cops? Because you, you you're stealing. Them. I'm not stealing. Yeah, yeah, you are stealing. I don't yeah, who does that? Who raised your ass? Who raised you? Seriously piece of trash that's what you are trash are you the are you the manager can i help you yeah i delivered food here yesterday from chipotle on doordash i doordash all day that's my main source of income that's all i do and this girl i delivered it to her and then she went on doordash and put down the i didn't deliver it here so then i this morning i wake up to go doordash and i'm fired because of her because she said I didn't deliver it. I would never do that. I had it right to her. That's the girl. Is there a corporate number I can call or something? Because you guys have thieves working we here. Give you, a phone number here. you have thieves working here. Wow, she really tried to get him fired and got a free meal. Well, karma bit her back. That was actually very meal, me, uh, mean. That was very mean. If she actually got the food, and didn't deliver the f and and went ahead to call that she didn't get any food i mean that's very mean that is a very mean thing to do some people love doing very mean things for no damn reason and it's not nice because that was his main source of income so now how is he going to feed himself bitter back what's the biggest ick a girl can give you honestly probably like when they can't like parallel park damn that's like half the women in the in the world yeah it's pretty sad it's just something about watching them just like struggling to get it in there in that little sideways parking space just that that struggling it just makes me never want to talk to them again i feel attacked personally you can't parallel park? nope a unique but very reasonable reason to not want to talk to someone. Ross, what do women really want? I don't care what they want. I only care what they respond to. See, my focus is a little bit different from the other guests. There's what women say they want, there's what women think they want, and then there's what they actually respond to. I'm not an academic, I'm not a theoretician. I'm interested in what works on the street when it's time to date and mate. And what women actually respond to is not what they say they want. So what do they respond to? They really respond to a guy who's a challenge, a guy who's a question mark, a guy who keeps them guessing. This attitude that you now have is more appealing to women? The attitude is vastly more appealing. Basically, the attitude is I make no excuses for what I want. And number two, I don't need you. You need me. But there's a massive power imbalance in favor okay. of women when it comes to dating and and women, through their behavior, through showing men what they actually respond to, force men to act in a certain way. Yes, some women will say the complete opposite of what they want. It's like a game. Why are you single these days? Well, I was in a toxic situationship for like the last Ooh. year and a half. Um, Anthony's like... <laughs> Look, if you date me, like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you gotta, you gotta have a bit of toxic, right? You gotta add some spice to it, right? <laughs> um, so when you say you like some spice, describe that. Yeah. Me and my like last situationship, like, almost got restraining orders against each other to leave each other alone, and we still ended up in each other's bed, and we're still blocked on everything at the time. So, um. 
There's just like, yeah, a lot of toxic stuff. Anthony's like, yeah. I can handle the challenge. A- Anthony, do you have any words to Kaylee how you're different than these men? Um, I don't have any restraining orders against any maxes. So. I didn't get one at least. <laughs> if you're calling it toxic, but you like it, then you're the problem. What's free times free times free? 27. You know, I'm gonna give you another one just for, you know. 36. <laughs> okay. <laughs> is it? It is 36. Did you, see, uh, did you see my thinking behind I, I you? I like the thinking <laughs> behind you. That's why you gave me another go. Um, huh. They both need to go back to school, apparently. And finally, this female I'm nurse doesn't know you. why she's still single. <laughs> but if you're still posting TikToks like that at 32 years old, then that's probably half the reason. She needs to just get off social media and go to a bar. You guys have made it to the end. Like and subscribe to prove you're an alpha. And remember, according to YouTube, the best way to help the channel and the algorithm is to watch another one of my videos right after this video. So if you like this video, you should watch another one. Till next time. <laughs> I love which of these videos can you resonate to? I have a lot of videos there that you know really made me, you know, thinking this last one where the guy says three times three times three, even the person asking the question doesn't know the answer. Like, what? <laughs> they need to go back to elementary school. I agree. Please let me know which of these videos you resonate to. So actually, female nurses doesn't know why she's still single. Like, they didn't really touch on the topic there, but there were so many other TikTok videos, you know, very interesting, fun. Let me know which of them you resonate to. Let me know which of them you're like, ugh. I tried the one that says, um, the one that says women usually like, you know, the opposite, that he is not interested in what a woman wants, that he's interested in what a woman responds to. Let me know your thoughts about that, okay? Um, do well to like, share, comment, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell, and I'll see you in my next episode. Bye-bye.